Wow, it is a historic night tonight. I'm telling you, we are across the world tonight as it is a partnership between the Korean American Business Chamber and the Mexican American Business Chamber. Uh, this is uh, Travis Kim, Alejandro Koss. First, I guess, Travis, talk about why we even are doing this partnership tonight. Well, the, you know, we are working uh, you know, with uh, a lot of Hispanic people within our Korean uh, communities. Uh, uh, however, that, that there hasn't been any uh, like a real uh, exchange of the programs uh, or the uh, involvement with uh, uh, each other's organizations. So we are trying to uh, uh, initiate that and come up with uh, some sort of a partnership uh, to enhance our relationship and to get uh, more uh, participation from uh, each other's uh, uh, member businesses. Uh, therefore, we can have a more effective and efficient relationship all together. And as you all know that uh, we are going through a very, very tough economic time. And it's very difficult to uh, get through this time just by ourselves. So we are trying to work with uh, uh, not only ourselves, but with the other people to help each other so we can get through this tough time. Alejandro, uh, why does this make sense for the Mexican-American Business Chamber, this partnership? Well, um, as Travis said, we are, we are, I think we're already partners. The, the Korean community, the Mexican community, we do business with each other. We buy at the, at the, at the Korean stores and, and, and they buy from, from the distributors. Uh, I think that we need to strengthen that, those ties and, and hopefully increase them. And that's what we're looking for, really, uh, because as you know, uh, minority businesses are growing tremendously. Hispanic businesses, um, Asian businesses, in particular, Korean businesses here in, in Georgia, in particular here in, in Winnet, which is also uh, home to the largest number of Hispanics in the state. So, you know, it, it really makes a lot of sense for us to, to partner, and we're looking forward for this partnership to bring a lot of uh, business opportunities for both our members. Now, not only are we talking about it, but tonight we have signed a document that says we're going to work together. Why, we're putting it on paper. Well, the thing is that uh, a lot of people can just talk about it, but it takes a lot of commitment to, to put that in writing so we can really follow through. Okay, so I think that's, uh, you know, uh, a lot of the good things can happen when, the, uh, you know, when things are you know, structured. And we are trying to create a good foundation for, you know, the two communities and two organizations to work together. Alejandro, your thoughts? Well, again, I, I think that, you know, this shows and, and particularly this uh, symbolic act of actually signing a, a, a commitment by both of organizations that we're going to work together. Uh, tonight we're here being hosted by our friends of the Korean American Chamber and next um, next Thursday uh, they are coming to our monthly breakfast and we're going to do the same and we're going to host them and we're going to we're going to share with our membership that we have now this partnership and and again um, hopefully we will start seeing uh, a more exchange and then by the next by next month or next uh, meeting that they have here uh, with the Korean American Chamber you'll be seeing um, many more Latinos. That is excellent, and I want to commend you both uh, before uh, uh, taking it to the next level. And this is what true diversity is all about, Diversity USA. Hey, congratulations, Travis. Thank you so congratulations, much, Alejandro. Thank you very much. Wow, it's a historic night tonight. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.